My name is Liam Scarlett and I'm choreographing a world premiere from Miami City Ballet. I first met Edward uh, in London. It was actually the time when I was just creating my first piece uh, for the main stage for the Royal Ballet, which is the company that I'm with. Um, and we just finished the first stage call and my mind was buzzing with like everything, corrections and changes and suddenly these lift doors opened and there was my director and my assistant director and Edward there and he kind of pounced upon me, literally we were in the middle of the other and the doors were trying to shut and he was like, I'm so pleased to meet you, we have to talk, we have to, and at that point I was, I was so like overwhelmed with everything anyway. Um, and then it was a couple of months later that we spoke properly and he said how interested he was in my work and how great it would be if I could come over to Miami. And it just kind of escalated from there and now I'm here, so. <laughs> it's a big thing for me and especially to be here in the States and you know, with one of you know, the, the, the top companies in America, Miami City Valley is, is, is up there with you know, all the other top companies in the world. So it's, it's a real honor and um, there's a lot of pressure, I guess, on me, so, but um, it, it, it's great. It's, it's a really lovely feeling. I came over in February for four days to have a look at the company, to see them in class, in rehearsal, and just get a general vibe for, for the company. And they, they all seemed such an outgoing bunch, and there was so much personality and enthusiasm, so I knew I wanted to do a, quite an athletic piece and really you know, push them and test them, so it was finding the right piece of music for that. On day one, you know, I had the whole company staring at me and smiling faces and, you know, everyone, you could tell there was such a buzz and that spurs me on, which is great. So it's a really nice feeling to have people that are enthusiastic and just as willing as you. I tend to use the dancers that I have in front of me as, as inspiration as well as the music. So I don't like to premeditate anything or, or work out anything the night before because I always find it's just a waste of time. I'll get into the studio and it's, it's much more fun and you know, fulfilling to work organically and you know, have a dialogue with the dancers and especially you know, when you get world-class dancers and, it's, and, and this company is great. There's so much feedback and so much conversation and dialogue with them and you know, it'd be a shame not to use their input. So it's very much an organic process, the whole thing. I think the theme for me, always in, in kind of a plotless abstract ballet, always comes from the music. And the first thing I actually did with all the, with all the company when I saw it was I sat them down, <laughs> which I'm sure they were quite relieved at. And I, I just played them the music. I said, this is, this is what it's going to be about. This is what I want you to listen to. This is how, it, how it's going to be. This piece of music needs to translate onto the stage and onto your bodies. Um, so that, that's, that's where everything's coming from. So I'm working very closely with the music and making them listen to it over and over again and picking out the different highlights that, that we can use in it. I don't think there's many people that actually keep dancing and choreographing simultaneously at kind of the level that I do because I'm back with the Royal Ballet. I'm a first artist, so I still do my quarter ballet work. I do occasional soloist roles. Um, which is tough, you know, it's quite a, you know, you, you do the bulk of the work in the company and then choreographing as well. So, you know, there's nights where I'm, you know, in Swan Lake at the side kind of watching stuff and, you know, I'm going over the piece that I was choreographing in my head earlier today. So it, it, it gets quite tough mentally actually more than physically. So it's, it's actually nice to be here and being able to focus on a piece, you know, solely and entirely just for the whole day um, and really get my teeth into it. I think for me my pieces just seem like one big long piece because I always, there's always something at the end of when you finish a piece that you wish you could have done. So I use that almost as a starting point for the next one. So they kind of, for me they all overlap even though they're very separate, different pieces. But for me it's always, you know, there's that kind of like empty longing after you finish the piece. It's like, no, oh, I want to do the next one now. And there's always something that you want to do. So it's, it's that kind of big snowball effect that you, you, you carry on where you left off.